Hey guys, it's your girl Kaylee Sparks today and today I'm going to show you how to make a mosaic but I'm going to show you how to make a thicker mosaic. So this is the one that I use in my bikini. If you notice, it's more thinner and for slim person. But if I'm supposed to make for someone who have a more bigger build, I would use this one. This one is consists of more single crochet and this one is consists of slip stitch so that's what made the difference between the both of them that one is thicker than the other so if you notice when i place it on it you can see the outer part of the next one because it is more thicker so it is more bigger if you look it's more bigger i'm not sure if the camera is showing it as whole see guys this one this one is more bigger and more thicker than this one this one is the one that i mostly use in my bikini i'll show you a video with how i make my bikini with this one very soon so today i'm going to show you how to make this mosaic thick for a person with a bigger build so let's jump straight into this so you're going to need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends but I'm not going to do much weave I'm not going to do any weaving ends today I'm just going to show you how to do the mosaic so you're not going to need it today but if you're doing the whole entire swimsuit you're going to need the tapestry needle and you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook you can also use a 3.7 if you choose and a pair of scissors and your yarn so let's jump straight into this video make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my videos start off by making your magic circle chain up nine Then make a slip stitch into the end of that chain 9. Alright. Chain up 3. Yarn over. You're going to weave in your ends. While you're going to place 14 double crochet right into this circle. So yarn over. Pull up a hoop pull through one pull through all three yarn over go back into that space pull up a hoop pull through one pull through all three so just continue that 14 time So now we're going to chain up four, turn your work and prepare for a, a triple crochet. So yarn over two time, don't go under this space, go into this space. So just go into the next stitch, pull up a hoop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two chain one yarn over two time go into the next stitch pull up a hoop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one yarn over two time go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull two two yarn over pull two two and you're going to just continue doing this until you reach to the end so just continue doing triple crochet until you reach to the end Alright guys, so chain up four, turn your work, and we're going to place some peacock stitch right above 
our genes, our travel. So make us let's stitch right back into that spot that you're coming from. And then single crochet. Another single crochet. Chain of three. Do a slip stitch into that chain three. Do a single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next chain of three. Do a slip stitch right into that space. And we're going to do this right until we reach to this space. So just continue doing that, guys. Make our last PKO stitch and then we're going to chain up six. One, after you chain six, then you're going to do a slip stitch right under your treble. Place a slip stitch there. And then slip stitch right below again and then place your another slip stitch right into the circle here turn your work yarn over go into this space with double crochet ten times So just continue with your double crochet 10 times. So chain up four. Turn your work. Prepare for a treble crochet. So yarn over two times. Go into the next stitch. And you're going to pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then chain one, then wrap your yarn two times, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then chain one, wrap your yarn two times, and you're going to do this all the way to the second space. So you're going to do it all the way to right here. We're not going to put any in the last space. So just continue that, guys. So go all the way to the second stitch. So this is the last one. So we are going to leave this space right here. So we're supposed to have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So we are going to do a single crochet on our opposite treble at the bottom right here. Turn your work. Place another single crochet to start off and then chain up three, one, two, then slip stitch right back into that space and we're going to do our peacock stitch. So just continue from there. 
do the same thing that we were doing before. So I forgot to tell you guys the joining that we did right here is going to be different from the rest of our rounds. So just continue with your single crochet into the space. And above your treble. And I'll show you what we're going to do in the next one that it's going to be different from this this one is the only one we're going to place right here I will show you in the next rounds guys so we are on the last of our peacock stitch all right so chain up six We're going to do the same thing that we did before, place it under the treble with a slip stitch, go back again with another slip stitch and one more slip stitch and then a next slip stitch right in between. turn your work and then place 10 double crochet right into our six so we're just doing the same thing that we did before last one chain up four turn your work yarn over and do your treble same thing that we were doing that's what we're going to continue to do so do it until you reach all the way down and remember guys the mosaic is going to be from the top of our bikini hip there from the top of our bikini and it's going to cover our breast so you have to do it at a length that suits your body I will tell you how much length I do so just continue doing this last one Remember guys always leave one space so we have nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we are going to slip stitch on our second peacock stitch so this is how you're going to do every one of the rounds sorry guys I mean single crochet and then turn your work and you're going to place one more single crochet on your travel and then start your peacock stitch and the same thing that we did for the rounds that's the same thing we're going to do and you're just going to continue this to the length of your desire I'll tell you how much I did how much <laughs> I'm going to do so just continue watching guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys and I'm hope you guys are hearing me clearly because I'm kind of stuffy so sorry about that not feeling the best but 
I'm doing this. So continue doing this guys and just continue your mosey to the length of your choice. So guys, this is the finishing of my mosaic. So this lace is looking super cute and you can use it on your bikini. You can use it even on your, you can make pattern with it. You can use it for multiple things, guys. Not only for bikini, but other things. So guys, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out this awesome crochet project. Love you. Peace out.